there are a few days left before isro icrb examination for this year now in these days i will not give you any full proof plan to study this study that for mechanical engineering study this that no because in these few days you cannot make a very large uh, difference in terms of learning new thing in terms of studying a new subject or anything else so this video will be for every branch no matter from which branch you are if you are going for isro icrb examination in this last few days other than learning you can put some very critical effort to improve your approach to this examination so that you can get some extra marks which can create a huge difference without any delay let me start so the first thing is very unique to isro ic examination and that is hand calculation yes you will not be getting any kind of calculator no digital calculator no hand calculator nothing you have to calculate by your hand the manual calculation you have to do it so we are accustomed with the gate level calculations right and we are we are habituated in a wrong manner that we do 4 into 5 in that gate digital calculator that 4 into 5 is equal to 20 okay but this kind of things you have to change right you have to be very fast with your hand calculation and let me tell you that don't expect that because this is an examination where i will not get any digital calculator that means the questions will be like that no there are some questions which you know that these questions are very easy but just because the calculation is a bit hefty the calculation be, is a bit large that is because it is taking me more and more and more and more and more time and by that you can miss some important question so in in this last few days how can you improve your calculation the thing is very easy solve some isro poiq question if you are going for any test series i think some of the coaching centers they uh release some isro level test series but uh, because i did not appear for any of them i i cannot recommend any of the, of those kind of test series the thing is that no matter which question you are solving in this last few days use your mental or manual calculation as much as possible this is the first thing that you need to change the second thing is please get out of your ego par jab pe comment या ईगो नाम जैसे कोई भी चीज नहीं है फिर भी यही कर <laughs> unlike gate where you have 65 questions and you have 180 minutes here you will be having at max 1 to 1.5 uh, or less than 1.5 minutes per question so that is a serious issue so the thing is that if you are not okay with your calculation and if you are not okay with your concept if you are taking more than 2 to 2.5 minutes in a particular question leave it leave it why because you will see that throughout the question papers there will be question which are very easy for you and there will be questions which are not easy for you now you think that i am a champion of this subject a and you are going for that subject i mean you are going for that question of a subject in the examination thinking that i know this subject i will surely solve this question by any chance the option is i mean the four options any of the four options are not matching with your answer and now you are fighting with the question that i am champion of this subject no you don't have to do this set aside your ego because your ego is not your amigo okay it can destroy you so i mean i am talking about this exam specifically i am not talking about any philosophical aspect of life that your ego can destroy you no totally uh, for this examination okay and you can see my video on my gate gate exam experience where i have explored i have described how i scored air 31 from air 3500 and there i have explained that how my ego how my ego destroyed 10 to 10 to 15 minutes in my first gate attempt so those things can happen in this kind of examination also and here the number of minutes per question is very less and that is why you need to set aside your ego so that you cannot miss so that you will not miss 
any question that is easy for you because if you give more than two minutes in a particular question there is a chance that you will not be able to see those questions which are at the end of the question paper but at the same time those questions were really easy for you so i am begging you set aside your ego don't fight with any question third point is connected to this and that is have a particular strategy so what kind of strategy can you have so here you need to keep in your mind that read the instruction carefully before going to solve the question so uh, you will need at most uh, two to three minutes i know that is also very important but still this is important because there are questions which doesn't have negative negative there are questions which do not have negative markings okay so like if you have already gone through the isro icrb advertisement so they have clearly mentioned that in the aptitude section they will not mark you negative even if you put the wrong option that means you cannot afford to miss those aptitude question so let me tell you a fact that during my time i actually missed i actually missed two to three aptitude question just because i was not sure and i was not aware about the fact that i don't have any negative marking in that good section that is why i missed uh, one of my friend asked me that how many aptitude questions you did uh, i told only 10 so then she told that why only 10 uh, then she told that there was no negative marking at that time the sky fell on my head and like what did i do like if you do not have negative marking in any examination in this kind of examination always mark that out no matter if it is a mcq msq numerical mark out anything if it is a uh, numerical put any number if you can think that this answer is between 0 to 5 put any number between 0 to 5 likewise in the aptitude section don't miss any problem in the aptitude section you need to also keep in your mind that both in technical and aptitude sections you have to score a particular marks you have to score a particular marks so this will not uh, matter that if you are scoring full in technical and less than that particular criteria in aptitude section maybe that criterion is 30% so if you are scoring less than 30% in aptitude section and full in technical section then you will not be, you will not be i mean selected okay so, i mean you need to take care of these facts during the examination okay so accordingly have some strategy now i should tell you that because there are so many questions if you are seeing that uh, subsequently you are not able to solve uh, consecutively four to five questions then my solution would be start solving from a different part maybe you are starting from the start of the question paper and after question 15 you are not able to solve question 16 17 18 and 19 so then your brain will automatically go into a denial mode for the question r20 so that is why switch the gear maybe maybe now you can start aptitude or maybe now you can start solving from the end of the question paper so this will give your brain a chance to be rewired okay or maybe throughout the question paper if you are seeing that this question is easy go for that question okay so this kind of strategy you can have so i will give you two example strategies first uh parse through the question paper and only solve those question paper which you can say directly just by seeing that yes i can solve this question okay if you have prepared uh, sincerely then there will be so many questions which just by seeing you can say and yes i can solve solving the question paper for the first time at the first go solve only those question at the second go again you are starting from the first at the second go now you are solving i mean harder question at the third go you are solving hardest question okay but this is true for both the technical and aptitude section and in aptitude section you should not miss anything right so this was the first strategy and the second strategy is that first solve only the factual questions because you know that in the factual questions you have like a binary option either you know it or you don't know it right so there are if you are from mechanical engineering there are factual questions from material science so 
I mean, in those questions, either you know the concept or you don't know the concept. I mean, these are not concepts; these are facts. Like this kind of things is made by which maybe we. This is not a concept; it is a fact, right? Not always they, this is a fact. By your common sense, also you can answer this type of questions. But there are some questions which are hundred percent factual. So for those questions, uh, it will not be taking more than five to ten seconds. Even five to ten seconds is also, I mean, a bit large time for this. So first solve the factual questions, then solve the questions which you know that this will take a, a minimum amount of calculation. So there are questions which require some calculation, but you can again just by seeing you can say that this will require a one or two line calculation, and that can be done in my head also. In, I mean that can be uh, calculated mentally. So this can also help you, right? So I will meet you in the next video. And until that, before going, let me tell you I have again started the consultancy sessions. Okay. So you can book some consultancy session with the link given in the description with me. Okay. So either in that consultancy session or in the next video, I will meet you. Until that, goodbye, take care, and thank you. Wait, wait, please. If you think that this guy is trying to do something for you, please click that subscribe button and share this video with your friends if you if you feel that this video will help them in their estrogen. Goodbye, take care and thank you for it.